says sopranos for today anyway altos sing with sopranos um, and we might keep it that way we'll see but for today certainly let's all enjoy singing that part you will find that you have half note tied note quarter quarter dot uh, essentially dotted quarter right um, will everybody please say the rhythm of the soprano I'm Dr. Eric Nelson I am Director of Choral Studies at Emory University, Professor of Music, and Director of the Concert Choir and the University Chorus. At the most fundamental level, I think one of the things that's wonderful about choir is that we are music makers. It's a famous poem, so we are the music makers, we are the dreamers of dreams. All of us that love music are consumers of music. We receive music, we listen to music, we love listening to music, it's a great thing. But not everybody is fortunate enough to actually be able to make music. And for those that are able to sing or play an instrument, um, it's, a, it's a great gift. But choir is making music in a way that no one can do alone. Uh, the parts, the four parts, six parts, eight part music that's going on. Um, we need each other, we sing together in order to create the music and create the beauty of it, which then we enjoy uh, simultaneously while singing. We're also enjoying hearing what we're creating. And then ultimately as performers, we get to share those songs, that music, that beauty, that art with our audiences. excited to meet a bunch of new people that share a love for singing and I'm just excited to learn a lot of new and exciting music so yeah. I'm really excited to join a great group of singers I know we all worked really hard to get into the group um, and I want to make beautiful music together. I'm most excited about meeting all the new people. I'm most excited about um, the concerts and the repertoire that we're singing this year. I think when I was looking uh, towards concert choir, I was looking for uh, something that would give me a constant throughout my time here at Emory University. Um, knowing that, you know, these four years, college is, you know, a period of growth um, and things are constantly changing and you have to be able to adapt to that. But I was looking for something that would stay uh, consistent uh, and also positive throughout those four years. So concert choir was it and I'm, I'm glad I'm a part of it. So I think I like the intensity of rehearsal a lot. Um, everyone is mandated not just to be there physically, but to be present and not just to be phoning it in, uh, as we call it, but to be reading your music, be looking ahead, be listening to everyone else around you just as much as you're focusing on your own sound. Um, and that kind of focus really makes you forget everything else that's happening in your life. So it's kind of just a, like an oasis in the week um, that you get three times a week. And to me, that's incredible. Take over. Grace when you get the chance. As bright as outside. 
flat as you can be. Okay? First altos here on top of that, or second, is that all altos? Um, man, here, bass twos, baritones, second tenors, first tenors, and all altos. Two and go. I can ask is that you give all you can, right? Um, so, uh, add the second sopranos. Everybody except the top soprano. Choirs are one of the few places that you're corrected publicly constantly. Uh, and that's also important because you've got to be okay making mistakes in life and being corrected it's the only way you grow it's the only way you improve in life um it gets obnoxious sometimes we spent most of first semester yelling at the altos because we couldn't hear them and that's important yeah for you want balanced ensembles in every part but i also think that it's important for young women still in this world to be told that your voice is important um, in a time when people still look at young women and say, shh, that's not your place. I'm just like reminiscing now because I it's my third year and I'm I'm sad that I'm halfway I'm past halfway and I don't want it to end I really don't <laughs> I love the people I love Dr. Nelson um, I love how everybody genuinely cares about each other um, even if we don't even know each other's names for a while um, I think my favorite part is the fact that when you're singing in the concert hall um, you don't have much of a choice but to sort of forget about yourself. It's like the one space, especially in college when everything's about you, where you have to really just like listen to everyone else and be selfless for an hour and a half. And I think that that's really, really important. And having those moments where you can sort of make something beautiful with other people, even if you see them three times a week, I think that that's something that people will hold on to for the rest of their lives. And that's definitely the best part for me. Uh, bases and uh, 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 bases. <laughs> <laughs> Skill set issue. Ladies, talk to us again. Skill set issue. And one. Uh, score what the composer has done, right? The tenors and the basses are starting on that note. They're going to go up. You're going to go down. Right, so it's going this way. But when we see a D at the top of the staff, we think, ooh. It's <laughs> <laughs> and it's mezzo forte, right? So, you have in mind. No. Hold your use. They'll sing a little louder, you'll sing a little louder. You have, you have been mine before you have been mine. Right, so fitting in with their color is part of what we do, right, on purpose. Right, here we go. Uh, bases, two, three, and four, and go. It's a very weird life to be a choral conductor, to be any kind of a conductor. Because I can 
step out on the stage and wave my hands and there is no sound. There is no music. A pianist needs to sit down at a piano. And for me, um, the music that I make as a conductor is the choir. And I'm always uh, moved by and grateful for um, the fact that these wonderful young musicians and these students um, find the experience valuable enough that they carve out the time. Um, and then, of course, uh, hopefully they feel the same way, that they can't imagine what it would be like to go through four years of college without music and without a regular checking in um, with their friends and peers and um, co-music makers. Appreciate it. Let it be. Uh, thank you to all of you. You could be a lot of places. You could be anywhere. This is an extraordinary campus filled with um, high levels of, of intellectual uh, rigor and fulfillment at every turn. You cannot possibly do a small fraction of the things that you would love to do. You have chosen to be here. And I never forget that for a minute. It's just fabulous. Uh, let it be. And, uh,